Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be doing addition in column method. Hi Niall, what are you using today? I'll be using my whiteboard with my piece of paper with my sheet attached to it. And you guys can get your paper and pencil and pause the video at any time to try and work out the answers before I do. Brilliant. So today we're learning how to add column methods. Yes. So we're going to start off, Niall, with your first question. Question number one. Okay, so that will be 43 plus 15. So we, when we're doing column method addition, we always start with the units. So we have to do 3 plus 5, which is 8. And where do you put the eight? Underneath the units column. Okay. Or ones column. And then we can do four plus one, which is five. Okay, and what's the value of that four and the value of the one that you've just added? So the four is equal to forty because it's in the tens column, and so it's the one is equal to the ten. So it's forty plus, plus ten. ten. But we, when we're doing column addition, we can just add the numbers. We can just say 4 plus 1, which is? 5. And put that number in the tens column. So what's the question and the answer? So 43 plus 15 equals 58. Brilliant. Question number 2? Question number 2 is 265 plus 430. Even though because this, even though this question goes into hundreds, it doesn't mean it's going to be much harder. That's correct. So can you show us that it's quite simple? So we always start with the units again. Mm -hmm. Five plus zero is five. Yes. So we put our five underneath the units column, and then we do six plus three, which, which is, is our tens, tens column. Good which is equal to 9, so we put a 9 underneath the tens column. And then we do 2 plus 4, which is 6. And what column is that? And I'll put that under the hundreds column. Okay, so we've gone into hundreds, but it's quite simple because the numbers are easy to add. Yeah. So what's the question and the answer? So 265 plus 430 equals 695. So now we're on question number 3, which is 129 plus 438. So this one's going to be a little tr bit trickier. Why do you think it might be? Because we're going to have to carry. Brilliant. So we want to explain the carrying very well. So let's start. What do we do first? So we start with the units. Mm -hmm. Which and we do nine plus eight, which is um, which is six, no, which is seventeen. Okay, so that starts. That's a bit different. There we have seventeen, so we have a double digit number. So what do we do when that happens? We put the last number of the double digit number. So the unit. So the unit. So we put the units underneath the units. Okay, and what digit is the unit? And we, um, seven, so we put seven underneath yes. our units. And then we have to carry one. Where are you going to carry the one? We put it on top of our tens. Okay, so the one is going over to the tens. And then what happens to that one? Um, and then that one... Um, is added in with the tens. It is. So can you continue the question? So we do 1 plus 2, which is 3, and then 3 plus 3 is 6. So we put our 6 underneath the tens column. Very good, now. And what do we have left? The hundreds column. So we do 1 plus 4, which is 5. So we put our 5 underneath the hundreds column. So, 129 plus 438 equals 567. Excellent. Question number four. 
So question number four is 328 plus 654. Okay. So we do 8 plus 4, which is our units. So 8 plus 4 equals 12. So we put our 2 under, we put our unit, which is our 2, underneath our um, 8 and 4. Yeah, so we put the 2 in the units column. Yeah, and then we carry a 1. Mm -hmm. And then we do 1 plus 2, which is 3, and then 3 plus 5 is 8. So we put an 8 underneath the tens column. And then, because we don't carry anything, we do 3 plus 6, which is 9. So we put our 9 underneath the hundreds column. Question and answer. So 328 plus 654 equals 982. If you haven't already, go grab that piece of paper and pencil and join in with me because of how simple column addition is. Good okay. idea, Niall. Okay, so question number five. Yes. 690 plus 177. So do 0 plus 7, which is 7, so we put a 7 underneath the units column mm -hmm. and then we do 9 plus 7 which is 16 yes so we put a 6 underneath our tens column and then we carry a 1 so now we're carrying the 1 over to the hundreds column that's right so we do 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then we can do 2 plus 6, um, which is 8. So not 690 plus 177 equals 867. Excellent. So we see that we can carry over to the tens, or we can carry over to the hundreds. Yeah. Brilliant. So let's do question number six. Okay, so question number six. 659 plus 284. So we do nine plus four, which is 13. So we put our three underneath our tens column. No. I mean our units column. Mm -hmm. And we carry the one to our... Um, tenth column, yes. and then we do one plus five, which is six, and then we do six plus eight, which is fourteen. So we put a four underneath under the tens underneath the tens column, and then we do um, carry a one over to the hundreds over to the hundreds and then we do six plus two which is eight and then we do eight plus one which is nine so that question we had to carry to the tens and and then to the hundreds so you can carry as many times um depending on how big the number is exactly so what's the question and the answer um so six hundred and fifty nine Plus 284 equals 943. Brilliant, nine. Okay, so question number seven. 598 plus 247. Mm -hmm. So we do 8 plus 7, which is 15. So we put our 5 underneath the units column. And then we do 9 plus... What's, what's happened to the 1 from the 15? Oh yeah, we have to carry our 1. And then we do 9 plus 4, which is 13. And then add 1, it's 14. So we put our, we put our 4 underneath our tens column. Then we carry to the hundreds. We carry the 1 to the hundreds. Well and then... then we do 1 plus 2, which is 3, and then 3 plus 5, which is 8. So we put an 8 underneath 
um, our hundreds column. So 598 plus 247 equals 845. Brilliant, Niall. Okay, so question number eight. So 478 plus 159. So we do eight plus nine, which is 17, and we put a seven underneath our units column, and then we do, and then we have to carry our one. Don't to forget the, about that one. Yeah, so we carry our one. Um, to the tens column and we do 1 plus 7 which is 8 and then 8 plus 5 which is 14, mm -hmm. no 13. 13, correct. So we put our 3 underneath our tens column and carry 1 again. Carry the 1 over. To the hundreds. We carry our 1 over to the hundreds. And then we do 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then 2 plus 4 is 6. So we put our 6 underneath our hundreds column. So 478 plus 159 equals 637. Okay, good. Okay, so last question. Question number 9. 634 plus 589. I think this question is going to be a bit interesting. Okay, let's have a look. So we do 4 plus 9, which is 13. So we put our 3 underneath our units column and we carry a 1. And then we do 1 plus 3, which is 4. And then we do 4 plus 8, which is 12. And then what do you do with the 12? We put our 2 underneath the tens column and carry another 1. And then we do 6 plus 1, which is 7. And then 7 plus 5 is 12. And um, so we do, so we have to go into, we carry 1 to the thousands column. So the 2 from the 12 goes in the hundreds. And you're carrying one over to the thousands. And that's then, a bit different. Yeah, that's why it was going to be interesting. Okay, because we didn't have any thousands in the number before when we were adding, but now we do. So yeah. what do we do now? And then we do one plus zero because there's nothing to add to it. Um, so we just put one underneath our thousand column. Okay, so. 634 plus 589 is 1,223. Brilliant, Niall. Can you see a bit of your, your working out? Oh, that looks good. Okay, so we've come to the end, end of, of our video. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, subscribe now. Bye, don't forget to subscribe and like button. Bye!